What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel YLB. Hope everyone's doing good. <clears throat> uh, I just wanted to make my last video tonight be uh, a video I've already seen, but I wanted to see it together. So, because I'm a huge fan of authorian, uh, like, um, you know, those tales of like Excalibur and, you know, Knights at the Round Table, Merlin. You know, I love those that, that stuff and that kind of history. You know, I'm really into that kind of stuff. So, I'm a huge fan of this, and I'm really excited to see this. And uh, uh, I thought it'd be cool if we all look at this together. So, check it out. This is almost everything you need to know about the Green Knight, or as the 14th century epic poem is more formally known, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. And I'm your guide, Ralph Einstein. This voice is so... Is a reaching, culturally resonant, mythic morality tale. J.R.R. Tolkien was one of the most important scholars to embrace and translate the story of the Green Knight. He considered the poem a window of many colored glass looking back into the Middle Ages. It's true, though. This is how many original copies of the Green Knight have ever been found. One. one. And this is who wrote it. We have no idea. This is the original manuscript of the Green Knight. In 1731, a major fire almost destroyed the Green Knight forever, but miraculously, it survived. Now, let's get into what this story is really about. Let whichever of your knights is boldest of blood and wildest of hearts step forth, take up arms, and try with honor to land a blow against me. The Green Knight. Scholars believe his character and green color represent the respect for nature, the unknown, and death. I will meet him. You understand this challenge? I did. He must sit me out yonder to the green chapel. Thy oh chapel man, this is so cool. To this. <laughs> we may not know who wrote Sir Gawain in the Green Knight, but we know much of its hero. Sir Gawain, a bold man, but an unproven hero. In Camelot, Sir Gawain was a knight at the round table. The iconic place for Arthurian knights represents the chivalric order. Gawain's story has influenced countless interpretations and characters across pop culture and beyond. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> so Gawain is a knight without any heroic tales to tell. None to tell. Yet. Yet. In this world, one's worth was defined by one's honor. And this quest is Gawain's chance to prove himself. And if death awaits me, is it wrong? To want greatness for you. Gawain's uncle, I'm so Arthur, excited for this movie. Master of Castle and Court, <sighs> Keeper of Sword, <clears throat> his aunt, Guinevere, beautiful and noble queen of Britain, wife of King Arthur, had an affair with Lancelot. Morgan Le Fay, mother to Gawain, King Arthur's half sister, practitioner of magic. And Merlin, legendary wizard, bard, prophet, and advisor. This music's cool. Mm -hmm. Along his journey, Gawain faces many obstacles, strangers, and foes, forcing him to prove his honor, his courage, his chivalry, and his loyalty. In this tale lies a moral lesson that echoes through time to make honor our guiding light through the darkest of our journeys. Chivalry isn't dead. Dead. This movie's gonna be so amazing. This movie's gonna be so amazing. Through the darkest of our journeys. She, this girl, is gorgeous. She's a new Tomb Raider actress. Chivalry isn't dead. 